friends, I have been using Scarecrow brand vampire fangs for my Jester cosplay since the very beginning, and that's why I was so excited when Scarecrow approached me to do a sponsored video, because I already absolutely love this product and I have been recommending it for a year now. These are the fangs that I use for Jester. They are super affordable, they are easy to mold, and then once you've molded them they are so quick to put in and take out. So many Critical Role characters have weird teeth that I thought this would be a great opportunity to recommend specific Scarecrow fang styles for each character, and also just try out some of the makeup looks that I haven't tried yet. Before we get into makeup, I just want to show you in action how the fangs are molded. There are detailed instructions included with the fangs, which you should absolutely read before doing it, but I just wanted to show you how it works. Step one is to figure out which teeth you want to put the fangs on. They can go on your lower or your upper teeth, they can go on your incisors or your canines, you get to decide. Once you've decided which tooth you want it on, you should put a fang on there just without any molding putty just to see how it looks and make sure it fits the way you want. Ah, uh, yeah. They recommend that you practice putting the fang onto your tooth in one smooth motion because once you have the molding putty in there, you are going to have a very limited time to make sure it all lines up properly. Underneath the foam in your little coffin shaped case, there is a little tub for mixing the molding putty and then all these little capsules. This? And then there's the liquid that mixes with the powder in the capsules to create the putty. There should also be a little wooden stick to help you mix it and put it into the teeth. You're meant to mix the putty in this little tub. One thing that I have found that I really like about this tub is that it fits the fangs in it and it's super small and convenient and easy to carry around. So if you mix your putty in a different container, like a paper plate or something like that, then you can keep this little tub clean and use it to store your teeth if you don't want to carry the whole coffin case around with you. So empty one capsule of powder into your little tub or whatever thing you're using to mix. Now you are going to use four drops of this liquid. One, two, three, four. You are going to mix and stir until it has roughly the consistency of toothpaste. Now you're going to take a fang and you're going to put this mixture you've created into the walls of the fang. You don't want to drive the mixture all the way down into the cavity of the fang. You don't need to fill that. This is just to shape it against your tooth. Once you've got it in place, you are going to put it onto your tooth. Make sure you get it in exactly the final position that you want it in, and then leave it there and do not touch it again. Ugh. Gross taste. Leave it there for five minutes and don't touch it. Don't even close your mouth like I'm doing now. I'm breaking the rules so that I can talk to you on the video, but in general, you want to pull your lips back and hold your mouth open and just wait. After five minutes have passed, you want to do the exact same thing with the other fang. Once you have both fangs fitted the way you want them, you are going to leave them on your teeth for 10 to 15 minutes. This is so that they cure and harden enough while they're on your teeth that once you take them off, they can finish hardening and stay the same shape. Once your 10 to 15 minutes has passed, it's time to remove the fangs from your teeth so they can finish curing on their own. In order to do that, you will want to press your lower teeth forward against the fang tips until they kind of pop off of your teeth. You will hear an audible little crack sound when they separate from your teeth, and then you should be able to pull them off with your hands. There will be buildup of the molding putty on the back half of the fangs, and you want to leave that there because that's what keeps them against your teeth. Leave these to cure for, I think, 24 hours is what they recommend, and after that you will be able to pop them in and out super easily. You don't need any adhesive or anything. They just go in and out in three seconds. Now that you know how to mold your fangs, let's get started on some makeup. Nott is a goblin and has some pretty crazy teeth, and so instead of just fangs, I wanted to give the appearance of a lot of sharp and spiky teeth in her mouth. So what I decided to do for this one was, I picked up the shredders, which are double fangs, there's two on each side. That way you end up having a row of four sharp spiky teeth right in the front. Flapper nutter! I didn't have yellow contacts laying around for knots, so I just went with the creepiest thing I had available, which is these white ones. I'm not going to recommend any contacts here, um, I have just seen way too many cosplayers hurt themselves using contacts that they got online because some influencer told them to. If you want to get colored contact lenses, you should speak to your eye doctor about where to get them. I'm going to start with a base coat of Mehron Paradise in light green.
Now that we're all nice and green, I'm going to do a little contouring. I have various random green eyeshadows here that I'm going to be using, as well as this crazy rainbow palette that I just picked up. I'm going to put a little yellow and pink around the eyes to give kind of a sickly feel. And finally, I'm just going to do a little black eyeshadow around the eyes. Now we have this nice hollow eyed look. Now I'm gonna grab a black pencil and just do sort of a rough um, eyeliner on the top. I'm gonna put a little mascara on just to make sure that my lashes don't have any green paint on them, but it's not like not would have beautiful luscious lashes, so we're not gonna do falsies or anything like that. I'm also gonna use this same black pencil on my brows. Not has a pretty heavy brow. And then I'm gonna to top it off with this kind of dark purplish lipstick. And I don't want this to be neat, so I'm just kind of going to go in with my sponge that I used on the paint and just kind of smudge the edges. There we go, good and creepy. For the Ruby of the Sea, I'm going to be using the aptly named Love Bites. So as far as I can tell, these are functionally identical to the small sexy deluxe fangs that I use for Jester. The only difference is that they come in a cute little heart-shaped case. I like this size because they're a little bit delicate. They're not like, oh, I'm gonna rip your flesh out. They're like, ooh, a sexy fang, which is kind of perfect for the Ruby of the Sea, whose job is to be sexy. All right, first we're gonna do a base coat in Beach Berry from Mehron Paradise. Once I get the base coat done, I go ahead and do some contouring with a blush palette. Now I'm gonna do a dramatic black smoky eye kind of thing. A little highlight. Now I'm gonna do liquid eyeliner and some false lashes. Now I'm gonna do my brows with a dark brown pencil. Last thing, we're gonna do a dark, dramatic lip. Now it's time to put it all together with the accessories. Kaliana is half dragon, so I only need one fang, so I wanted to make sure that fang was visible. So I decided to go with the classic deluxe vampire fangs. These are just the larger size of the small deluxe that I use for Jester. I found that this size of fang is just a little bit big on my teeth. I can feel the top part of it against my gum, which I can't feel on the small deluxe. So if you have big teeth, maybe these would be a good fit for you. If you have small teeth, you might want to try the small deluxe if you don't have a strong preference about the visible size of the fang. I definitely feel like the small deluxe look natural in my mouth and these are definitely a lot more noticeable. Since Callie is half human, I'm going to do regular makeup on one side of my face and then the dragon scale makeup on the other side of my face. I'm going to start with the regular makeup first. Just doing some of my regular contouring. Callie has a pretty dark eye makeup look on her human side, so we're just going to do a little bit of black shadow a black brow to match her black hair. And I'm gonna do a false lash too, but I'm gonna wait until I have the other side done so I can do them both at the same time. Last thing to do on the human side is Callie's lip, which is just a soft pink. Okay, time for the dragon half. I am gonna start with a base of Mehron Paradise in black from this eight color palette. Now I'm going to mix up more of a gray color from the white and the black and do a little scale detailing over top. Now I'm just gonna put on my false lashes and then it's time for the wig and the accessories.
Caring for your scarecrow fangs is super easy. All you have to do is brush them with your toothbrush and toothpaste just like you do your regular teeth and then just let them dry before you put them away. You don't want to eat with the fangs in, but you should be able to drink with them in. You can use a straw if you're having trouble. Talking with the fangs in is something of an acquired skill. When you first put them in, you will likely lisp a little, but you'll get more used to them as you wear them. They have so many different styles, you can pretty much find fangs that suit any fanged character. Once you've molded these fangs, you can use them for literal years. I honestly can't believe how good they are for how inexpensive they are. If you want to buy any of the styles that I have displayed in this video or check out any of Scarecrow's other styles, make sure to check the link in the description. Good luck with your Critical Role costumes or any other costumes that require pointy teeth. Don't forget to subscribe and of course, thanks for watching!